Good morning, traders. This is Frank Charlie with RJO Futures in Chicago, coming to you on Tuesday morning, January 8th, with your grain market morning commentary. Currently, we have grains trading a little higher across the board. Corn is two to three cents higher, uh, wheat's three to five cents higher, and soybeans just one to two higher. Now, what I want to really talk about this morning is that we have this big crop report on Friday. It's the quarterly stocks, the production, the supply and demand. This is a big report. And also, we have a new release time for these uh, grain reports starting this Friday. It's at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So, you know, be aware of that this is a big report. Um, this is a report where we have seen limit moves up, down, either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, bullish, bearish, but um, the USDA tends to surprise the market. Um, with soybeans right now, trade is looking for a reduction in the harvested acres, but um, more than likely, they're also going to get an increase in uh, productions. We're looking, you know, for a harvest to be somewhere about 39, 39 and a half bushels per acre. Some uh, look for as much as 40 bushels per acre. Now, um, that puts production somewhere around 3 billion bushels. So that would be a slight increase. Um, but the market has already gone through a big correction to the downside. We're going to need some real bearish news to keep this uh, slide going. There's a lot of technical damage. The market has reached oversold levels. And as I try to keep reminding everybody, hey, supplies are still tight. Nothing's really changed there. So we could talk about all these acres we're going to plant in uh, spring and summer, but we need weather to cooperate. And for the time being, I tend to uh, be a little bit more bullish on this report than bearish. I, I don't expect any big bearish surprise here. As I said, we've already taken a lot of premium out of the market. So uh, corn, um, I think the market's been showing us that, you know, trade's a little bit more bullish there because this market has been a, a little more reluctant to move lower, even though we've had very dismal uh, export sales. But what we um, expect to see there is uh, lower production, and an increase in feed usage. So on the demand side, in that respect, feed is up. It is typical, you know, in the winter time that, you know, the, the livestock needs to eat more to stay warm and that the production is down a little bit. So we're gonna have to keep an eye. Again, there are historically tight supplies. Um, we, on the other hand, have very weak technicals. We have very uh, poor export sales. So again, this is gonna be a big report. Um, one thing I like to keep an eye on, I always talk about, are old crop, new crop spreads, wheat and corn spreads. The difference between uh, the price of wheat and corn, I would expect at some point, because our prices have become uh, more competitive on a, a global scale, and because the difference between wheat and corn is, is narrowed quite a bit, feed usage uh, may shift to wheat. Uh, look for uh, you know a little bounce in that maybe, um, but. The, the bottom line is, again, we have a very tight supply. We need weather to cooperate to, um, you know, add a little cushion to that supply in the coming year. So this is a big report. Um, please feel free, give me a call. And as always, remember that uh, trading commodity futures does involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for everyone. Thank you.